This is the video for section 4-6, and again, we're talking about proving that two triangles are congruent without knowing that all the sides and all the angles are congruent. Okay, and the piece we're talking about in this video is about the hypotenuse leg theorem. So you should know what that is and be able to use it to verify or prove that two triangles are congruent. Okay, also, this is the last piece in that idea. And so you should now be able to identify when we don't have enough information to prove that two triangles are congruent. So before we get into the hypotenuse leg theorem, we have to talk about the parts of a right triangle. The longest side in a right triangle is called the hypotenuse. You may already know that, but um, if you can't tell which one is the longest side, um, it is always the side that's across from the 90 degree angle. Okay, the other two sides are called legs. Okay, the two sides that um, are connected with that right angle are called legs. So the hypotenuse leg theorem says that if the hypotenuse and a leg of one right triangle are congruent to the hypotenuse and a leg of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. The hypotenuse leg theorem is actually a combination of side-side angle. So side-side angle actually does work, but only when the angle is a right angle. And when that angle is a right angle, it is the hypotenuse leg theorem. Now let's use that theorem in one application problem and in a proof. On the basketball backboard brackets shown below, angles ADC and angle BCD are right angles, and that's drawn for us in the diagram. And segment AC is congruent to segment BC. The question we're being asked is, are triangle ADC and triangle BDC congruent? Well, um, I know that this angle is congruent to itself by the reflexive property. Okay, now since these are both right triangles and these two are the um, are hypotenuses of the triangles and DC is congruent to itself by the reflexive property, then the answer is yes by the hypotenuse leg theorem. Okay, now in this problem we are given that angle PRS and angle RPQ are right angles. And that's drawn for us. And we're also given that segment SP is congruent to uh, segment QR. Okay, now, um, we are probably going to use the hypotenuse leg theorem. So let's kind of figure out what we need to know. This side is the hypotenuse of this triangle. And this side is the hypotenuse of this triangle. So what I need is one of the legs. Well, PR would be congruent to itself by the reflexive property, and that's the piece that we need. So um, I'm going to say that SP is congruent to QR, and that's given to us. Okay, And I'm also going to say that PR is congruent to itself by the um, reflexive property. Okay, so these together tell me that triangle PRS is congruent to triangle RPQ, and that is by the hypotenuse leg theorem. Okay, and that is the proof. So this video was about proving that triangles are congruent using the hypotenuse leg theorem.